Hey guys, Nova Explosion, welcome back to more Final Fantasy IX. Here we are. We're back. I'm on the Chocobo. I did a little bit of a... I did a little bit of Chocograph stuff off screen. I think I got, um, we found this one last time, I think. These are two of them I found. Like, I got them from the Chocobo. Oh, I, I just know this. They have the open chest if you got them. So we only got the stream side one. I said what I was going to do was try to find as many of them and then pick them up on stream. So these are grayed out because we need, like, I think we need an ocean Chocobo and a sky Chocobo. We'll, we'll see if we get those. I don't know how annoying it is. And these two, I have the maps for them, but I didn't pick them up because I wanted to pick them up on stream. However, I think I want to go to Terra to start for today. I want to start stream going to Terra and moving on the story and, like, wrapping up disc three. So, we're not going to mess with side quests right now. But now we're going to go to, uh, disc three. I'm going to form my party, and I'm also going to talk a bit. We're going to, we're going to, let's just chat for a bit. Um, we have anywhere from one to two streams of this game. It's entirely possible I can finish the game today. I've mentioned this so many times, but I played FF9 once, and when I played it, I did very little, if any, side content. I probably did very little, but very little side content. I don't know how annoyed I'm going to be at doing some of the side quests in this game, like, before the final boss and everything. So, it's very possible if I start to be like, oh, I don't want to do this and this and this, because I already... People are already expecting I'm not 100 percent the game, so if I end up being like, I'm not doing this and this, we could finish the game today. We're in, like... We're at the very end, but also, it's possible that I want to do more side qu content, and we just take another stream to finish the game. The important thing is, the Pixel Remasters finally got a release date. They're coming out next Wednesday, which is the same day as Forbidden West's DLC. I don't know why they did that, but, uh, hey, we finally have a release for Pixel Remasters. They could not come in a better time, because I'm going to be able to jump from FF9 all the way to FF1, so I'm I'm gonna have just enough time to finish this before that, so that's gonna be good. Whether I decide to do more side content or not. It shouldn't take more than two streams, because, you know. But anyway, let's go to Terra. I have a destination. I think we did the Earth Guardian last time. We fought with Zidane and Kina, so now we just need to go to, what's it called? The Shimmering Island? And go to Terra. And that'll be, like, you know... The end of disc three. Um, as opposed to side content of what I want to do, we have one more mouse to find for the quiz. I would definitely like to find him. I don't know if we're doing every single chocograph, but I definitely want to do more of them. And there's also the auction house quest we can do, which we might end up doing. And then maybe some other things. There's not, there's not like a, a big amount of stuff to do. Like, there, there's some stuff I want to mess with, but nothing crazy. Like, I don't want to really... I'm not going to fight Ozma, at least not in stream. Maybe I'll record Ozma later down the line. I just don't have the time, also. Like, putting aside that super bosses aren't my thing in FF, I don't have the time to do Ozma and prepare. I heard it's, like, quite a grind to prepare for Ozma, and it takes a long time. I quite literally just don't have the time. <laughs> So, you know, we're, I'm not doing Ozma, at least not yet. Maybe somewhere down the line. Where's the Shimmering Island? Can I look on the map here? Right, this game has autopilot. Just autopilot there, you moron. <laughs> uh, ba bum that just to go a little faster i don't know why it just like you should just like babe me out into where it is like tales of the abyss kind of weird that it doesn't would it be that way before moving on let me look at my party i should be good though oh we're not healed well this is not good i want to be healed i don't know how i'm not healed all i was doing was finding chocobo stuff uh take me to estogaza estogaza should have an in can't land on ice, so I gotta land right over here. Oh my word, why is this so hard? It's because I have fast forward, it makes it hard to land. It should be part 91, I think. 
And if we finish the game today, this will be around the same length as my FF6 and FF8 playthrough, which checks out. But if I do take another stream, it'll beat them out barely. So that's a nice number to be at. Yo, a wing edge. I guess I didn't find that before, but in my defense, FF9 is really stingy with treasure sometimes. Yeah, I never remember where I can I can use a tent. Honestly, I have eleven of them. Oh, but tents don't heal MP in this game, right? I mean, I could just like use ethers. Like, when do I ever use ethers? To be honest, I like never use them. It's like the only correct answer. I'm trying to remember if this dungeon has you use two parties, it might. So I should probably look at Steiner, Kina, and everyone else's stuff. That's such a hassle. I think, I think I'll be fine. To be honest, I think we'll be fine. Just take me to the Shimmering Island. I'm ready to, like... I'm ready to get into the home stretch here. Yes, autopilot me here. Mr. Zidane, I'm showing abnormal readings. It feels like the ship is getting sucked in. Zidane, it might be dangerous to keep going. Are we gonna bust in on the airship? All we know is that this is the entrance. I've heard the people of Estogaza call it the Spirit Road. The path that leads souls to Terra. Maybe it's a teleportation gate like the one in Kuja's hideout. Mr. Zidane, we're gonna get sucked in. What shall I do? One now, Zidane, we may not be able to turn back. Yeah, keep moving forward, just like Meet the Robinsons. Good movie, by the way. Keep moving forward, we're going out on the deck. What do you mean? If Garnet's right, we could jump into the teleporter. From this height? We'll be fine, considering all that we've been through, this is nothing. Oh, hey, cutscene. Come on, it's fun, let's fly. It's like the Makalania scene, except not in water. Okay, this is very FF8. Very FF8 time compression. Could this be... Terra? What's this light? Could it be? Ooh, hello. What was that garland? So you finally came. The time has come at last. The one who folds time is here. Who the heck are you? Ask my name, will you? Then let's ask. What is your name? Ah, give me your name. I'll give you mine. Me? My name is... Hey, what's your problem? I'm trying to tell you my name. So you believe a given name has meaning. Weird. Boy, you have been bewitched by the light of the blue moon. What do you know? You must be from Terra. You know nothing and that is all. <laughs> this is quite an intro scene. Come and see for yourself. See what Terra is and what you are. Hey, hang on. He's gone. Yes, he is indeed gone. Zidane. Oh, it's Garnet. Garnet, you alright? Yes, everyone's fine. Come, let's hurry. Oh, for my party. Yeah, this is fine. Down we go. Why is that E so high up? <laughs> I'm not sure if that's intent. It's probably intentional, but I don't really get the meaning of it. Hey! Maybe they signify how, like, you know, different Terra is compared to Gaia? Can't really think of another reason. Hello. I will grab this chest, don't mind me. Yes, the coronet. Probably like a headpiece, right? I would think. Yeah. Man-eater return magic. It's probably for Vivi? That 
sounds like a VV skill. It is for VV. And he's done with the, uh... With the other skill, which I already forgot what it was. Do you like dungeons that require two parties? That depends entirely on the game. <laughs> I'll give you two examples. Tales of, I like dungeons where they have you split between two parties because they have, uh... It's easy to keep everyone updated on equipment, and also it's it's just the way they do their puzzles is fun. In games like, um... With no bench XP, for example, I don't like them because then it means if your party members are underleveled, then you're going to have a miserable time with party two. FF6's final dungeon had, you had to use three different parties in FF6 for Kefka's Tower. It was neat, but also there was no bench XP in that game. So with how many characters there were in that game, it meant the characters you didn't train up, you would get punished for like, hey, if they weren't strong enough, you're, gonna, you're like screwed. So, I mean, it, it depends on the game, to be honest. Hey, wait up! Theoretically, the answer is yes, though. What's your problem? Who knows, man? Terra's wild. Terra be crazy. Where'd she go? Where did she go? So I think you can climb. Yeah, it is, okay. It kind of looked like a little green spider web or something. Oh, wait, I see a chest. I want that chest. Terra is really nice looking. At least so far. Got a remedy? Please. The name was meant to climb. He's a climber by nature with that tail of his. Go down. Got the demon's vest. Sounds like something I have, but you never really know. Magic up? Defense up? Yeah, I mean, like, I don't need any of the skills, but, like, I'm done with skills anyway. You're still learning flare and reflect, too. I guess you could put the demon's vest on, or we could give it to Freya. Oh no, Freya has males, so it wouldn't work on Freya anyway. We could just put it on Garnet for now. Because she's the white mage and she should have more defense. Who are you? You don't remember anything, do you? Follow me and you will understand. Maybe your own heritage as well. Zidane is an amnesiac protagonist? Wow, it's the most common trope used. Hey wait, hold on a sec. Man, name... I can name so many amnesiac protagonists. Can I go, like, up here? Oh, that's a chest? Alright, that's a little unforgiving game. I hit... Like, come on. I mean, the exclamation mark kind of helps. I already have a mithril racket, so it's kind of pointless, IMO. Alright, there's nothing else up here, just that mithril racket. Terra is very reminiscent of the original FF games, by the way, because, like, the, the original FF games have the whole lore of the crystals, which we'll see, like, if you haven't played the original FFs, you'll see as I do playthroughs of them. But they have, like, the whole, like, oh, the whole thing of the first game was, like, the crystals and the warriors of light. Nine, like, goes back to the roots of the original, and Terra, like, Terra is very reminiscent of some of the classic games, which is neat. Once you go on, you'll see. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go. Can I can I get to that chest? I saw that chest. Oh, it's like a spiral. Okay. <laughs> okay. Minerva's plate. That's probably for Freya. Restore HP sounds really good. Also more strength. I know. This is this is wrong. Hang on. Uh, no, not here. Sorry, I had to drink. What the heck? What is this place? It looks really artificial. So different than before. 
Yeah, but it doesn't seem very lively. Welcome home. This is where you belong. The place to which you shall offer yourself is here. I really like when games have otherworldly stuff. Ron Ball. <laughs> I don't understand why the text looks like that. By the way, there are four ATEs here. There are four ATEs here, and then there's one ATE shortly after. So the final ATEs are upon us. Hold on a second, what the heck are you talking about? Anyway, I was saying, I really like games with otherworldly stuff, like Graces, you have Fodra, Tales of Hearts had some otherworldly stuff in its second half, and then like, um, there's a couple of others. I like games with, I, I guess like two worlds is kind of what I'm trying to say, but not so much two worlds as like, you know, one has like a, like a different planet. So I guess two worlds is kind of what I'm saying, but I really like games that have like a second world in their later half. I'm just, I like that, um, I like that story direction, to be honest. What the? Oh, hey, FMV. Oh well. Garnet's dead. Garnet, wake up! Garnet! Damn it, what the heck is going on? Oh, am I not gonna be able to use Garnet because, um, she's fainted? That's really annoying. You are completely oblivious. Just like a newborn child. You don't know why you were given life or for what purpose you exist. You simply shout to emphasize your life, your own existence. You are completely oblivious. We gotta find a place for her to rest. Zidane, leave the princess to me. You must go... You must go... Re... I don't know that word. At once. Yeah, you're right. There's gotta be some place around here. Watch over her, Steiner. I'll be right back. Oh no, I lost Steiner. Whatever shall I do? Alright, so, I mean, I guess I just put... I go in place of Garnet because she's a white mage. I don't know if we're gonna have to battle without Garnet. I hope not. Oh, hello. What's going on? Yo, they have tails! They're Felpool. Oh, Star Ocean's a classic example. It's why I'm so drawn to Star Ocean. Star Ocean's, like, loves to do different planets, obviously. So, like, every time games have, like, multiple worlds, I love it. Everyone has a tail and their hair is just like mine. Indeed it is. Hang on, before going here, I want to look around for treasure. I saw a chest down there. Don't know if I'm able to get it from here, hopefully. And there are some ATEs. So I want to... Preferably, I want to find a save, just so I can save my game. Also, Stiltskin should be somewhere? What the heck is this? It's a Moogle, according to the, the you know, the top. The cherry look-alike thing. Hey, buddy. Thanks, Koopo. I was trapped inside. Fine. Got a wing edge. I think that's like a throwing weapon or something Amaran can use. So, let me see. In return for saving me, I opened the shop for you here. Ooh, nice. What kind of stuff do you have? Oh, this is the weapon I was looking for for like a synthesis thing, I think. So I'm going to want these two. It's also better for Zidane regardless. I mean, I only have so much money, but like it's it's better for Zidane. This isn't, but I need it for synthesis. This is better. It doesn't give me any new skills, but it's still better. Also, getting Vivi a new staff would be nice. He's had the Cypress pile for so long. 
Oh, Dragon Wrist. I never checked its abilities. Again, I'm not going to worry about characters we're not using. Because, like, <laughs> weapons are expensive enough. And I'm set on my team. Defense Gloves for Freya? Give me, like, two more cor coronets. I got one of these, but I guess not. I have one. And I can't really afford anything else. Alright, Rip. Well, that's good for now.